Detroit police confirming eight protesters were arrested at the site of an officer involved shooting. They gathered hours after 20 year old Hakeem Littleton was shot and killed on the city's west side yesterday. DPD released video shortly after the deadly confrontation, indicating that Littleton fired at officers first. Victor Williams is live at San Juan and McNichols, where protest organizers just spoke. Victor? Yes, yeah, Stephen Sandra, despite that video being released, lots of protesters still showed up here. They're starting to march on down the street, but this time they're saying they want more accountability from the police. I just thought that it was highly inappropriate uh, and, and really shocking that there was no one there to give the community any answers or any way to engage. 24 hours following the aftermath of the controversial death of 19-year-old Hakeem Littleton, a gathering is held on behalf of Detroit Will Breathe, organizer Tristan Taylor. We know for a fact that had we not been here, that video would have been released the same day. Police Chief James Craig spoke on the matter this morning, where it was stated that he still stands behind his officers and their decision to pull the trigger. Clearly, when you look at this video, the officer responded appropriately. Uh, he certainly was an imminent threat to his own life and that of his partners. Yet that doesn't ease the pain or stop the chance of these protesters who see this as just another senseless killing at the hands of police. Detroit Police Department shows its inability to have restraint. Uh, and uh, doesn't know how to engage uh, with citizens in a way that is actually uh, geared towards de-escalation. Now, of those eight people arrested, we're told that Mr. Tristan Taylor himself was one of those people, and he also tells us that multiple people were actually injured by the police, so this just really adds nothing but fuel to the fire. Reporting live on the west side, Victor Williams, Local 4.